You got a trespasser. Get back. Sounds to me like we got a trespasser. Oh my. Is it alive? Wait. It's full. It's eating. Good. It's got its, it has a little head stuck in there. It's a baby one. Don't put your finger in there. It's so adorable. Huh? Look at it. His little head was stuck in the can. It was stuck in the can. Go get Hayden. That is a little one. Go get Hayden. See how little it is? We're going to release it down the creek. Do pet? Yeah. Hi, baby. so cute. He had his little head stuck in there. I don't know if it was stuck or if he was just hiding. Stuck. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I don't think it was stuck. I think he put it in there because he's hiding. Is he scared? Yeah, he's scared. Don't put your finger in there. Hi, little sweetie. So there's a whole family. I'm getting like five of them on camera. Oh, he's Four or five. Baby. Yep. We finally caught one though, didn't we? Yeah. See how little he is hiding? Oh. I want to catch the big ones. That's crazy, huh? Hmm. All right, you guys want to go check the other trap and then take this down to the creek and let it go? Yeah. All right. So, um, real quick, Brandy, you've seen the video of the dogs eating the corn. Yes. Have you ever seen that before in your life? Dogs eating corn? Yes. No. Me neither. That means they're starving. That one was really skinny. Yeah, I feel bad for them. So, that's the thing. I've, you have to be starving to eat corn, other than unless you're a deer or a raccoon. But dogs don't normally eat hard corn. Yeah that's out in the woods for the deer. So these dogs, you guys see them, these dogs are like extremely, has it malnourished? Some of them. Yeah, Some malnourished. Them one of them looks pretty good. The one looks really bad, really wormy, skinny. I wouldn't, I want to try to catch those. And I and I found out there could possibly be a animal rescue in the town over, we'll, we're gonna see. Um, but hopefully we could catch, catch them. And if there is an animal rescue, we could take them to um we could take them to it but i don't know we'll see and i'm gonna check this camera i got a lot of pictures of this thing on it but we're gonna check this camera to see if the dogs came back on video or not so we'll check if there's anything on there i'll show you guys but we're gonna go check the big trap let this one go and go from there he, he looks family. nice and sweet yeah we're gonna let him go he lost his family he, mm. so he just when, traveled up here like when their ears are down that it's ready for them to attack i know they're gonna get you he's so cute i want to put his little feet He's smaller than he looks on camera. Don't touch him with your feet. Aww. He's a little tick on his eye. A tick? Yeah. Look at his little foot. He's adorable. It's like, he, got he ate all his food. He got terror in his eyes. I'm gonna pet his little foot. Oh God, it's okay. He's not even looking at us. He's just doing good with the side of us. <laughs> He's looking at the camera. He's scared. It's okay, little guy. Good okay, thing. he ain't hurting nothing. Oh, no, you're probably scared. We're letting you go. You catch and release. So I basically just want to try to catch these raccoons up here to get them away from here because we're going to be camping and stuff. We don't need a bunch of raccoons running around. We don't want them to come back. Yeah, we don't want them eating on the camper that's going to be up here. We're going to take them down to the creek, let them go. Hopefully they don't travel back. A lot of you guys say that these raccoons can travel like three miles. I have no clue, but we're gonna we're gonna let it go at the creek. If it comes back, then we'll we'll go from there. I don't think, I don't, I don't think so either, but we'll check the bait. Yeah. No. Is the bait still in there? No. Yeah, it is. Is there any bait on the outside of it? Yeah, I can still see the pile of bait right there. See it? Yeah. Nothing's yeah. went in there yet. Look at that yeah. dead squirrel stinking, isn't it? Ugh. Squirrel. There's another oh squirrel. God. There's a bunch of squirrels out here. Watch out for the snakes, girls. Yeah. You ain't got flip flops on today, do you? Nope. I got in trouble for you guys wearing them the other day. Don't go off the hill. We'll let him go right here. Okay. What is that over there? Hopefully Something he blue. doesn't run off. Watch out for snakes. Oh. I'm gonna walk over here and look. Hold on. There's something blue across the creek. 
I need to get back over here and mow all this down. But it's down for sure. That's where we catch all the big crawdads right over there. We got another big hole right over here. Something blue over there that I haven't seen before. I'm not sure what that is. This will be a good spot to let the coons go. Everyone we catch, I'll just bring right here. And uh, when I said that was a little raccoon, it's little, but it's not like an infant little baby one that's still nursing. So y'all don't be beating me up over the comments. Like, I'm not trying to catch them to just be mean. And a lot of people just shoot them. I don't want to do that. We're just catching them to release them. Get, get them away from the feeders if possible and all that. So. I heard something over there, but it might have just been a squirrel, but it sounded loud. Like walking. Because it's probably a deer. Uh oh, he's curled up. <clears throat> Come here, girls. We'll let him go over here. You're free. Oh, he's so he's cute. Free. He's like, I'm out of here. He's He wasn't aggressive like the last one. No, I've caught some the big ones. The last one's good. I will see. I will still see him. Do you really? Still yeah. see his little yeah. tail. You see him? No. Oh yeah, behind a tree. That big tree. He's still there. See him? Going to the right? Uh, over there. Yeah, he's yeah. Right, there. right there. Yeah, I don't see him, but yeah. So this is like the perfect raccoon habitat down here. He's gonna be fine, guys. Like I said, we're not catching him to be mean, but we definitely want to relocate him on the property, and we'll find out tonight. If he makes it back or not, because I got a head count on every one of them that's up there. And um, yeah, so we'll see. That deer blind over there, we're probably gonna move. Yeah, it's been there for like 10 months. So Brandy hasn't seen um, our hunting spot up here other than on video or the um, deer blind that we built. So we're gonna go up there real quick. Yeah, let's look. No, that was already up here. Okay, hey, the corn does look like it's down quite a bit. Brandy, there's Hadley's yee yee. <laughs> Blind. Blind. You come out here and put a roof on it next. Looks good, huh? Uh huh. Like, like it? Mm -hmm. I'm walk over and look at the corn. Do you see anything growing? This is where we had the throw and grow. I'm trying not to come up here anymore, but Brandy hasn't seen it yet. A little one sprouting up. Like, they won't be real big yet. Yeah, there's some sprouting up. I see some clover sprouting. That's what these are, clover. Okay, yeah, they're sprouting then. That corn is demolished. Like, it's there's a lot of corn gone. Hallie, here, let me see if I got another SD card we can switch out. Okay, so I'm just throwing three pictures. Okay. Isn't that out? what these little... Yeah, yeah, that's growing. Let Hallie help you. Yeah, we'll check this corner. So if there's anything cool, we're going to show you on right now, too, on this. Brandy, what's your opinion on these wild dogs? Do you have an opinion? I don't, I don't know. I don't have the right answer. I feel like for sure the one that's super skinny and stuff, I would be fine with, if you did trap him, trying to get him some help. When people are talking about taking them to shelters, from what I know of all the shelters I always hear is like they have too many as it is. Are they put so, them down or what? Yeah, if no one adopts them, they put them down. So I don't know the difference of like, out here they can at least have a chance to have a life or so you take them to a shelter if no one adopts them yeah, that's true. they're probably going to put them down that's true. especially they if there's chance. cute little puppies people don't want are they going to want yeah. like a grown dog i don't know so we get a lot of comments that say we need to catch them we need to take care of them so what if one of you guys commit if we catch one you're going to come get it and you're going to we'd be like nurse hey, about wherever it. you're from you meet us halfway yeah. and come get your dog that's the thing like whenever we had it, we had a uh, a steer years ago, and everyone was telling us to keep it as a pet. Save so we, yeah, we put them up for sale. Not one of y'all wanted to buy them, but y'all wanted to tell us what to do. So if we do get one of these dogs, does someone want to adopt them? Let us know. Emails. And I, what I think about the dogs 
is if they were just, if we knew 100% they were minding their own business, whatever, but I'm gonna have my girls out here hunting and stuff, and there's three of them, there's one of you. So you might have to leave them in a blind for a little bit of time or whatever. I don't know. I just don't want them coming across the dogs. Yeah, if just randomly. Or if we're down or... at the creek, one jumps out of the bushes. Yes, yeah. That's the thing. You guys can see in the video too that we got of the dogs themselves. You could tell they legit look wild at this point, just the way they're walking and acting and stuff. Um, but yeah, everything's good up here. Um, so we're gonna go back up top. Okay, so next day I got Hadley and Hope with me and we're going to put the uh, metal roof on the shooting blind. And also I'm gonna have the girls go in there and we're gonna put some netting up in front of the windows. Um, I might have them do that while I'm cutting the tin and getting it all ready. Look how big these acorns are, girls. Deer are gonna on. love this. Deer, which puts on my hands to the deer. Yeah. So I got some string and we'll string this up. I'll just... We'll string it up inside and we'll put the netting up there where we can move it back and forth. So I actually found some old tin um, that I had left over from the little tiny cabin that's going to work out perfect. So I'm going to take some measurements, get the size, and then I'm going to get up there and start doing that. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. What you doing? Oh, we're trying to get this set up for you guys. Oh, that one's not going to work. <clears throat> what is that, seven? We're using this to put around it. that for? I'm going to put the string on there. And you're going to... And we're going to... What? I'll show you. <laughs> Hold that. Okay. Hold it tight. Hold that tight. Hold it tight now. You guys are just going to go up through here. Hadley. Just string it through here. Through each one. Up top. See what I'm doing? Huh? You see what I'm doing? Uh -uh. See how it's going in there? Uh -uh. We got a trespasser. Sounds to me like we got a trespasser. Sounds like they're on that right away. We'll walk over here and see if we can see them down there. Sound like they were just right there. The only thing is, if they're down there, there's only one way in. It's actually two way through the creek or through our road. But I'm not sure where the right of way goes over there. Another right of way would probably go up through someone else's. It goes up through other people's property. So that would be the only other access. So there's like three accesses the creek itself, the right of way, and our road. And I almost have a trail to that right away so we'll probably have to make our way over there before hunting season and put um signs up like no hunting no trespassing signs but that was pretty close that was so close that they all thought it was right here too strange show you what it looks like so just walking how we took sit in that chair Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now pretend we're a deer and slowly move that back so you can get a shot. Hadley, go from go from the other way, Hadley. Yeah. I may end up cutting it in the middle. That way we could slide 
just half or of it. Or like put a window and like you can lift it up and attach it. So what we'll do is we'll just cut. Close it up, Pad. We'll cut it right here in the middle. That way we can just move each side. Yeah. You can almost. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Looks pretty good though. Mm -hmm. So surprising, this little tool right here I put on the end of my Dewalt actually works. Usually works pretty good. Usually. We'll see. There's a trespasser. There was a trespasser. It it's not like he went right up to the edge of the property. Yeah, to the creek. Let's go fit this one. Watch out, I'm gonna hit you guys. I'll go inside and see what it looks like. Looks cool. I think we need three more. We do, two more. Right here? Mm-hmm. Just make a line right there. Okay, now I'll get them over here. Wow. Hurt. And mark the six again on that side. And I'll put the two by four up there. Right here? Yeah. Hadley had a good idea. She said, once you cut both up at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna try, Hadley. Good idea. Yeah, that's close enough. Go? Yeah. Stay up against the board. I'm bad at this. Here, here hold on. No, that's not bad. That's fine. It's like done. Perfect. Da, 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 da. That was both of them. Yeah, be careful, cut you. No, that's. That one too big. For me too. See the next piece of tin, Hadley. Watch out, I gotta lift it up. Find what it looks like in the inside. Okay, this deer blind is officially ready to hunt. Now I am going to order some spray foam insulation off the do-it-yourself Amazon list. I'm going to come in here and spray foam it, um, but that's not a necessity. That's just going to be a luxury, I guess, for it. And um, But yeah, overall, it's turned out awesome. I want to do several more of them just like it. You can see it's ready to rock and roll. Ready to go.
the girls are excited. We are going to come back and put all the windows on hinges. Um, but as of right now, we can definitely hunt out of it. We got the got the tent up and it's ready to go. Girls, are you excited for deer hunting? Yeah. I wonder if we're going to catch anything else in the trap. What about them wild dogs? Probably. Is that good water hope? <laughs> it's good. All right, we'll keep you guys updated on the whole trespasser situation we got going on now out here too. Um, you should be able to hear on camera. Um, something was right, sound like right down below on the creek, but when I walked over there, I think it was more up on the right of way. Maybe they're driving down the right of way. So I'm gonna have to put some signs up um, just to keep them off here because if you don't know the boundaries because nothing's marked, it'd be very easy to kind of wander off if you weren't familiar with it. I use an app that shows all the boundaries. So I know I'm on my property at all times. Um, other people should do that too, right? Um, but yeah, so, so with all that being said, we'll keep you guys updated on everything we got going on out here. Stay tuned, we'll have a house update soon for you guys and um, we'll keep you posted on everything. What should they do, girls? Subscribe and smash that like button. All right, bye. Bye.